Greetings and salutations. The self-improvement rut. It's when like, you know, you've consumed all the content, you know, all of the, I don't know, you know, like the four pillars, all of the habits you're supposed to be doing, setting goals, all that good stuff. Journaling, meditating, exercise, gym, eating healthily. And you've been, you know, on the grind, doing it consistently, you're making progress, but there just comes a time where you know, you're low on motivation and you're just wondering what you're even doing all of this for. Or maybe you are, maybe progress has become stagnant. It's, it was going like this and now it's kind of like flattening out a bit. You're not where you want to really be and you just feel a bit down. So you start doing the habits a bit less. You're inconsistent with everything. You just feel like you don't know where you're heading towards, like what are you really doing all of this for? That's what I like to call the self-improvement rut. Because even though you have been building your discipline and everything, you just feel like, <sighs> you know you shouldn't be slacking on all of your good habits, but for some reason you just, even though you know all the bad habits are obviously not good for your instant gratification, you just start leaning towards them again and you don't really know why. My theory is, well, I think there's a couple of reasons why this might happen. One, as I've already mentioned, is because you might feel like you're not really making any progress and you're doing the same thing every day, so surely you still be making progress, but I don't know, maybe you're, you haven't really seen much change in your physique or you're meditating every day, but you don't feel any more present. You're journaling every day, but you still feel down. That can cause a self-improvement rut when you feel like you're not making any progress. Another thing that may cause this kind of stagnancy is when you've become complacent. Maybe so maybe you have been making really good progress, but now you're kind of like, you're chilling. Maybe you already have that physique. So you're like, oh, I don't really need to even go to the gym as much because I'm already good. Like I'm already good, six packs there, arms are there. So you've become complacent and now you like slack on the gym or so complacency may cause a rut because now you're not going on the upward stride. You're going like this and then soon it goes like that. The last reason why I think a self-improvement rut may occur is because of a lack of goals, a lack of purpose really. And you always want to feel like you're kind of like working towards something like a goal that you have in mind because that's going to keep you going, that's going to keep you motivated, you know, on the days where you feel like you don't want to do anything or, you know, you're just feeling down. That goal that you have in mind, you really want to achieve it, so that's going to get you out of bed. If you have no goals, if you have no, like, purpose, like something you want to achieve, there's been no point to anything, which is gonna be like, I might as well do the bad habits anyway, because what am I working towards? So that could also cause a rut as well. I just thought of another one actually, as we speak. You know when, if you're a student, you know when you study and you like study too hard, you know, you've been studying hours and hours on end for a long period of time, for extended periods of time, you know, maybe you've got like an exam season or something and then you're just burnt out. I think that's also the same with self-improvement as well. If you've been going hard, like really, really hard, there's just gonna come a time naturally where you just burn out, you're just tired, like no matter how much you try, cause you've been grinding for months and months and maybe even years on end. And there's just gonna be that point where you may have slightly overexerted yourself and you're just tired. So you just really can't be bothered to do anything, do all the good habits. So how do you get out of this rut? Someone messaged me on Discord talking to me about like how they were in this kind of rut right now and they were asking me for advice basically and it really made me think about it like because I've been in this past during in past situations how did I get myself out of it I am really 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 big on goals and having a purpose layer Hamza spoke about this quite a bit I'll leave a link in the description about the whole purpose layer kind of thing when you 
have a set of goals that you really, really want to achieve, you desire. They're not like futile goals. They're not, they're, they're, they're actually meaningful goals. It's just something about that for me that can just keep me going for ages. Like if I ever feel like I'm in a rut or I'm feeling down or I'm feeling demotivated, no discipline, can't be bothered to do anything. The goals that I instill in my head just eventually they just keep get me back up again because I like achieving the things that I set out for. I derive a fulfillment from progression moving forward. So if I feel like I'm in a rut or I'm feeling stagnant, I can't stay in it for too long. And I always make it a thing that I know what my goals are like, for example having them on my wall or something like that so I'm seeing them constantly so having a purpose layer having goals are really a good way to get yourself out of rut you feel like you're complacent and you've gone into a rut you need to reevaluate your goals reevaluate your purpose layer I'm gonna reference Hamza again because I watched a video of his and he was talking about how to you know prioritize your goals how to set your goals all this kind of stuff and I did this and it really helped helped me Basically, just get a sheet of paper, write down, I don't know, 10 things you want to achieve by the end of this year. And then pick two, pick one to three of the ones that are of the most import importance to you and cross out the rest of them. And once you've done that, those one to three goals are the ones that you should focus on, like put all your efforts into. Because the other seven or eight or nine are going to distract you from achieving those goals. They're going to hinder your progress in those uh, goals. I keep saying this term purpose layer, purpose layer, but what is a purpose layer? If you're like a young adult or a teenager, you're probably not going to know what your life purpose is, right? So Hamza makes it a thing of, in life, it's not that you just have one purpose. You've got different purpose layers. That might be school education right now. That might be, you know, building a business or it might be, you know, content creation. It might be fighting, martial arts, like something that you just can't stop thinking about it takes a lot all of your time damn near and you're just working on achieving this purpose layer this goal so if you feel like you don't have that that's probably why you feel directionless and you why you're in a rut so you know think about your goals think about what is your current purpose layer right now what is something that you are working towards like your purpose layer right now for the next couple of months could be just getting into shape or getting better at a sport or it could be developing a high income skill so just think about what your current purpose layer is, what your current goals, things that you want to achieve are for the next coming months or even years. And that should really, it should light a fire in you. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.